it's Tracy Jackson, also known as the Spiritual Cheerleader. And I'm coming to you with your cards of the week this week. This week's cards messages come from the Divine Feminine Oracle by Megan Watterson. Um, I really wanted to select this deck because um, Megan has her new book coming out on Tuesday, July 9th. Um, called Mary Magdalene Revealed. Obviously, Mary Magdalene is on the front cover of the Divine Feminine Oracle here. Um, and uh, it's going to be a great book. I'm super excited about it. I've already purchased, pre-ordered um, the hardcover and the audiobook um, just because I loved her book Reveal so much. Um, I really wanted to have this in both formats as well. Um, so let's get to the cards. Um, these cards actually hopped out of the deck. And that's why there are cards for the week. Um, I usually select one card, but they literally jumped. And I was like, what? Like these two <laughs> probably don't go together. And then I saw, yeah, they actually really do. Um, so the the first um, first card is Yeshe Shogal. I, and I totally probably am butchering her name. Um, she is basically said to be an incarnation of Vajra Jogini, um, who I've talked about in, in the past, but I don't know if I've actually shared about Vajra Jogini in the past, but Vajra Jogini is a, uh, Dakini, um, and she is said to be the essence of all Buddhas. Um, she is basically encompassed in red. She was our, our, um, guiding uh i guess hostess for the month for the red ladies um, we just had a sermon on her last month um and her message was um i have the power to make each moment sacred everything is material for my liberation right and the the concept of that card was really about being being free through every single action that we did and um literally recognizing that every moment is sacred and yeshe shogal is basically reiterating that message but she's reiterating it from the sense of the body so many of us discard our body we literally um you know either despise what we are seeing in our body um, for whatever reason maybe we um, have some type of sickness or we um, feel that we're not pretty enough or that our bodies are not pretty enough um, and so a lot of times we have a lot of um, fear and hatred of our body and being in our body and Yeshe Shogal is really kind of um, reminding us that to be in the body is to be something super celebrated. I just read yesterday um, in Alana Fairchild's book that um, typically, you know, enlightenment is, is something that's only able to be done through being human. Um, it's easier to be done through being human. So typically like gods like fight over themselves um to have you know a human experience because it helps them to reach enlightenment quicker um which i thought was just freaking amazing because who thinks of that like most times we think being in spirit is so amazing and like man it sucks that we had to come out here and be in a body but uh yeshe shogal is really telling us that um, the body was made for enlightenment, right? Um, so uh, I I love her essence. I love that she's got the red on. That's kind of like Vajra Jogini again, because um, <laughs> that is her emanation. And actually, um, she is said to have incarnated again um, in uh, Magic Lebrun and also um, uh, incarnated in a woman who right now, uh, is in Tibet. So it's really, really interesting um, that this incarnation has just kind of kept going forth and that she is this, you know, essence of all Buddhas, but she is really emphasizing that fact of the body being um, beautiful, blissful, um, a tool um, that helps us to reach enlightenment. And it's something to be celebrated, not something to be feared and, uh, you know, something to be hated. So the next card is actually Isis. And it says the goddess of mag magic, sexual energy is sacred. My pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. And 
and you know a lot of people might be like what isis sex what um but the the message of this card really is speaking to the sexual energy being sacred so many of us have again gotten this and many times it's through our religions that you know sex is something that is you know only limited to marriage and like any other time it's not sacred it's not holy it's dirty you know like it should only be used for procreation and you know the thing that I feel that Isis celebrates um, here, and and she was you know procreating um, when she saved her husband, resurrected her husband back to life, um, and you know they they merged in order to create Horus, her son. Um, but the the thing that's really um, to be celebrated here is the presence of the love that the two of them had for one another, the presence of that sacred joining that they had to create something more beautiful. Um, again, another thing that, that really um, uh, is coming through here is the, the idea that, um, you know, Osiris, who was Isis's husband at the time, um, you know, obviously split into pieces. She goes around, picks all these pieces up, forms a new phallus for him, then, you know, ends up having relations with him in order to have Horus. And, you know, Horus was said to be the divine masculine incarnate, basically. He was the one to um, set those boundaries, to recognize discernment, to realize that, you know, there are some people that maybe I can't trust, um, but that doesn't necessarily, in my love for them, it's just that I don't need to necessarily be around them. Whereas his father um, did not have that. And that's what led to him being dismembered by his brother, Set. Um, so it, really, the both of these cards go together so well because Yesha Shogal is obviously telling us that it's so great to be in the body and it's not something to be feared or hated. But then Isis comes through and also tells us that um, it's sacred to feel present in the body. And one of the ways that we can be present in the body is through our, our sexual energy and through our relation to another human on this earth. Um, and so, you know, it should be something to be celebrated. It should be something um, that is looked at as a, a holy ritual, um, regardless of the status of the two people. If those two people are coming together and they both have an agreement for, you know, you know, joining with one another, um, it doesn't matter that they're not married or that they are this sex or that they're not, you know, procreating or whatever. It doesn't matter um, because that act of being present with another human being is an act of love and is sacred, is holy um, because it's a joining together of two uh, individuals who are embodied as um, Yeshe Shogal wants us to be. So, uh, those are your cards for the week. I hope that that helps you um, this week. I hope that you love on your bodies um, right now, that you see them as something to be loved and not something to be hated. Start um, really sending that love to your body so that um, you, it, because it, it, so much fear and so much hatred is around our bodies, that's what causes you know some of the issues that we have in our bodies. And so until until we kind of flip the script and start loving on ourselves a little bit more, um, taking care of our bodies um, with food, self-care, you know, meditation, doing those things that really enrich us and feel good to us, um, that's when we will we'll move to that next level. So I hope that that helped you guys this week. I hope you enjoyed the message. Feel free to subscribe, um, like, comment. I'd love to hear it all, and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Bye.